out and said that I'd vlogged today but I did but I sort of didn't because I was too excited to see him that I didn't vlog actually me meeting him but I did take pictures but I vlogged there on the way I didn't even vlog in the car because <laughs> I was too excited to see him but I vlogged before I didn't even vlog, vlog before I sort of did I vlogged while I were there so I'll do my intro now guys i actually met the one and only mike parr and for the vlog today it is me meeting mike parr so give it a watch right now <laughs> Mark Parr and I'm not even joking, I'm going back. I'm fucking going back. I just feel like I love you. Because <laughs> I do. But I'm literally I'll obviously going tell you the story of today, but if I cry, just ignore Basically, it. Basically, I woke up this morning and I didn't think I was going. So I was all upset and I tweeted Mike and said, Oh my god, I can't come. Anyway, he didn't reply. Silly me, because he was probably busy. Um, but I literally then begged my dad to take me and he said he would go. So within half an hour of having to get ready, we got ready and we set off. Anyway, after we set off, we got there, took a while to get there and we had to ask lots and lots of people where BHS was in Huddersfield. And they were saying to me, oh, it's closed down. And I was like... <gasps> What? No, it can't have closed down because Mike's there. Anyway, we got down to BHS and there were not even that many people stood outside, but we literally got there at 12 o'clock. Anyway, we got there and the, this this um, other girl was in the queue waiting. Anyway, she got her picture done and um, it so it was my turn to go in to see him, right? And I stumbled a bit. I went to walk, but my legs wouldn't move, so I didn't walk. And then that's when Mike was like, oh, come on, come on. He was basically telling me to come in. So I went in, and he was like, hi, love, you're right, and we took a picture. Anyway, I said to him, oh, uh, did, you, did you like my tweet? For those of you who don't know, I tweeted him asking about Aaron and Robert, you know, basically taking the taking like the mix sort of thing anyway it was like oh are you sugged and trash on twitter so i was like oh my god yeah and he was like oh is that you and i was like yeah and then anyway it was like he they all were like oh and like all clapped and he whilst he gave me this hug like because he fact because he found out that it was me anyway we carried on talking and he signed he signed this little sheet thing. I'll get it for you now. He signed my little... I didn't have my notepad, but he signed this, and it says, To Zoe, all my love. P.S. I love Rob Ron really. All my love, Mike Parr. Right? For those of you who don't know who Rob Ron is, Rob Ron is Aaron and Robert from Emmerdale. So they're his, like, colleagues sort of thing, Danny and Ryan. Anyway, he literally walked... I walked off because my meet and greet time had been done, but it was about time we was going home. It was about half one. And I said to myself, go on, Zoe, go back down. I went back down to see him. There was nobody there and he was there chilling on his phone. So not gonna lie, I went and started to have a conversation with him again. And he started talking to me about Emmerdale and saying, oh, do you like it and do you watch it and all this and having a really nice conversation. And then he asked me to decide between Danny and Ryan and honestly, I couldn't. So I said, oh, I can't. And he was like, you have to tell me who you prefer. So Danny, and that sounds really bad, but he said, oh yeah, yeah, Danny's got a massive fan base. I so I was like, oh, so have you, you know, like, feel sorry for the bloke. He has got a massive fan base, just no one knows it. Um, so anyway, and then this woman came and was like, I'm sorry, love, there's a queue behind you now. I was too stuck in the moment, Justin Bieber lyrics, too stuck in the moment to notice that anyone was behind me. I was too busy talking to him. Anyway, he said, I will see you later and I will speak to you soon. And I was like, 
oh my god as if he's just said that so now i am waiting on him to reply to my message and when he does i will let you know but honestly it today was the best day and i'm so so glad i vlogged it so i've because people were asking me to vlog it so i'm glad i is that a spider oh i'm glad i sort of vlogged it so yeah i would put, obviously put all the pictures in my mum oh my god my mum is like a massive massive well not massive but she watches emmerdale every night she's watched them for like ages anyway um she was like oh ross can i have a picture and i was like Whoa. He's not Ross, he's Mike. Anyway, Mike was like, yeah, yeah, sure, you can have a picture. So I took the picture and my sister literally said, thanks for making Zo you all Zoe talks about. You know, basically saying all I do is talk about him. And he was like, oh yeah, you're welcome, like laughing sort of thing. So yeah, it was so good. <laughs> I was so excited. So yeah, that was today and that was Mike Parr. So... I will video again on the 16th of September when we go to studios. So, yeah. Peace. That is it for today's video. I'm sorry I didn't actually vlog me meeting Mike, but I asked my sister to take pictures rather than vlog it so I could get the picture of him giving me a hug, which I didn't know he was even going to give me. But, yeah. Because if he didn't give me that hug, I was going to be like, oh, yeah, can I have a hug? But he hugged me anyway. So, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't vlog me actually meeting Mike Parr, but I vlogged most of it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, can you let me know? And I will see you again on the 16th of September.